Right now at six, mixed responses. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine being distributed once again after a brief pause over concerns of severe blood clots. Some people in Tampa Bay rolled up their sleeves for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine today, while others still say they're not sure. Tonight, we're going in depth to bring you all of the perspectives. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us, everyone. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell is taking those safety concerns straight to local doctors who want you to know your options. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine back in action at the Tampa Greyhound track site. Lori and Leland Massey got their J&J &J dose today. You don't have to come back for the second shot and it's supposed to do the same thing, so why not? Despite concerns over rare reported events, the couple explained to me they think the benefits outweigh the risks. The accident rate on 275 is higher than the uh, blood clot rate on, co on this vaccine. No, not scared. Not at all. No. Not scared to drive here, not scared to drive back, not scared to get shot. Still, some of you may have reservations. Here's a breakdown of safety concerns on all three COVID vaccines from the latest ABC News Washington Post poll, with just 46% who think Johnson & Johnson is very or somewhat safe. The CDC says there have been 15 reports of women who got the J&J &J vaccine and later developed a serious condition involving blood clots. As of Friday, more than 8 million doses of the J&J &J vaccine had been given in the U.S. I spoke to Dr. Rachel Irby, an infectious disease physician at Largo Medical Center, about these rare cases. And when the data was really evaluated um, by all the players that be, the NIH and the CDC, they said um, the risk is still so much lower than the risk of getting a similar clotting event from coronavirus itself, that it's clear that the vaccine is better than getting coronavirus. Over at USF Health, Dr. Michael Tang told me the risk is very small, while also pointing out the effectiveness of the vaccines. Vaccination seems to protect against severe disease, even in those very rare cases where you get breakthrough infections. Some people that were vaccinated got reinfected. They didn't even know they were reinfected because they're completely asymptomatic. I wanted to know where you can find the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the Tampa Bay area. Here's what I learned so far. CVS said they expect to make appointments available at stores currently holding the J&J &J vaccines starting this week. Today, the Tampa Greyhound track site has Pfizer first doses and Johnson & Johnson available, along with Pfizer second doses, too. Right now, a site coordinator said people can choose for their first dose, though they don't know how long that will last. And they're ready to field any questions you have. Staff here is fully informed to ask all the questions of anyone who comes through that might be in that uh, age range where they might be susceptible to some side effects. As we find out where more J&J &J is available, we'll keep you updated on abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.